All right, we're back in the 2010 Chevy Suburban dealing with these two trouble codes for the electronic suspension control system. And I sourced a brand new OEM GM uh, module for this electronic suspension control system. It's made in France. There is the part number. And obviously it looks like the old one. This flat thing with a bulk connector. So right now with the original module if you look at the data this battery voltage signal 16.1 volts is different than 14.5 which is the vehicle system voltage. So let's just plug in the new one before programming anything in, take a look at this live data. If the voltage is good and the position sensors are reasonable, it's like left front, left rear, right front, right rear. I mean, I don't know why that one's 0.6 and the other ones are 1.0, but they should be closer to like two and a half volts if the five volt reference comes back. So then I'm sure it'll set a code that a configuration not programmed, then we'll have to go to OEM uh, programming for General Motors and actually get this module uh, programmed through the online service. So let's just plug it in, see what changes on the live data. It's actually really nice that the customer removed the spare tire for us. Makes this uh, pretty easy. So just loosen up these two hold down nuts. This thing pops right out. Feed it down here. Unplug this one. Plug in our brand new one. So there's no aftermarket replacement for this thing. I don't. I don't think it's, it's very special. So comes with the brand new nuts and everything. So this is the way it goes. Bingo. It's clipped in. I'm just gonna let it hang out. Let's look at the live data. All right, key on, says service suspension system. So let's see what codes are set in the suspension system. Calibration data not programmed. Okay, that's to be expected. Let's read the data stream. eleven point eight volts so that is correct now look at that left front two point five left rear one point five right front two point one right rear one point three so that's the feeling of whew, made the right call on this eight hundred dollar module um, so <laughs> let's get the OEM uh, SPS 2 GM programming set up Run through the programming, should be pretty quick. Uh, I'll actually install it under the truck now, and this truck should be fixed for good, at least for now. So for General Motors, we're using the Bosch MasterTech 2 J2534 pass-through. We're on SPS2 website, and right here, it auto ID'd the vehicle, that is the correct VIN. Replace and reprogram. And we want to do the E. A lot of options here. Where's the electronic suspension? Electronic Suspension Control Module, the ESCM. OK, 
Okay. We'll click next. And it'll take one of the available VIN slots. That means you pay per VIN. So 40, uh, now it's $45 due to inflation. And basically it'll lock that VIN in and you can do anything you want for two years. So proceed with that. Yeah, some warning lights doing its thing. Operating system real time damping. And it just says operating system, so. Select next. I guess it does both. Start programming. Gonna get some warning lights. You'll see some stuff going on. Boom. So pretty quick. And that's it. So we can close this out. Plug in the scanner again. Make sure there are no trouble codes. Take this thing for a test drive. Make sure the air suspension works. And that's it. It'll be ready to return to the customer. All right, here we go. Would we'll set any any problems. Let's go right into ESC. Read fault code. Calibration data not programmed. That's so that's still the case. Huh. Interesting. So, read data stream. Fourteen point eight. That's perfect. We got twenty-two pounds in the air leveling. Two point five, two point one, one point eight, one point five. Okay. Why does it say? Calibration data not programmed. So we did the programming, it went through. I guess we might have to go back to that. But it's not saying service suspension system. So we're just logging some data. In the electronic suspension control module, absolutely no warning lights, no trouble codes, or no warning lights, but that trouble code for some reason is still stored in the module. So I don't, I don't really understand that. Well, let's take it for a spin. So I can't get this DTC to clear. Everything works great. We'll put that in the notes. GM glitch, I guess. We'll look up a TSB, but um, I think that's it. So truck is fixed. Customer will be happy. Starts, runs, no warning lights. Perfect. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right, a little bonus footage. I can't give this truck back to the owner 
with a trouble code in the electronic suspension control system, especially since we installed the module and I said we'll program it and it'll be perfect. So the only option here is to use the OEM GM scan tool and that is the Tech 2. For full size trucks all the way up to 2013, the Tech 2 is the OEM scanner. 2014 and up, the GDS 2 is the OEM scanner. So to access uh, Tech 2, so you have this screen, so you download the Tech2 emulator, the Tech2 Win, and here it says you're locked out. So you need to go, it's kind of a convoluted process, but AC Delco TDS, you need to buy three days of Tech2 Win access for $65, I believe. It, the prices are going up for everything, so the customer will have to pay for this. Then you launch TechLine Connect. Then in TechLine Connect, you go to here, Support, Security, and Software Download. Once you click Software Download, this screen pops up. You select Diagnostic Tool, so Tech 2, and there's Standard and Custom. So in this case, North American Operations is the standard. Um, there's says North American Operations. So basically, what this will do is talk to the emulator and download the software and also update your days remaining. So you can see it's doing its thing. This is just to be able to use the Tech 2 on this truck. So, once it finishes, that little number there should say either three days left, sometimes they give you a month. If you're lucky, basically you have to pay GM more and more money just to be able to program these modules. This is similar to the 2012 Duramax that we had to do for the reset, you know, procedure in the emission system. North American Operations, and this is the, the newest version, 33.004, yes, version date, so download that, so once we get the security, I mean the software on here, then if that doesn't change, we'll go to the security download and go from there. So this is time consuming. If you don't have the OEM scanner, like a Tech 2, you know, the handheld, or a full year subscription, you're kind of stuck doing this. You know, I don't use Tech 2 all that often, only for these programming or specific procedures for you know, 2000, whatever, 13 and older vehicle that the, oh, the aftermarket scanners cannot do. So that's rare, but it happens. So this is the second time in, you know, a couple years that I've needed to go this far to use the OEM, you know, software. Uh, the other case was the Saturn Astra. The only scanner that we could use was the Tech 2, you know, the Tech 2 with the special Saturn, Saturn Astra software. That was an oddball, but in cases like this where there's a specific procedure that the aftermarket scanners can do, we're, we're just trying to do this automatic level control learn for the air suspension to get rid of that, you know, calibrations not perform trouble code. So now it's race, download, boom, boom, boom. See the emulator is doing its thing in the background. 33.004, okay. Seems to be happy. Right there, it says 30 days left. That's what we need. Download finished, okay, great. So close that out, 
And now, in the tech two, press enter to continue. Well, we can close it out. And then here, additional tools, just relaunch it. Turn the key on, we have the charger connected. We'll just do default. You see we have 29 days left, I guess. And right now, it should ask which interface do you want to use. So I have the Master Tech 2 plugged in. And if it doesn't pop up here, we have to go to TechLine Connect. You can see right now TechLine Connect is using this interface. So what you want to do is here, disconnect vehicle. Okay, close that out. Now, refresh this. There it is. So there's the Bosch Master Tech 2. So select that one. Okay. Now we should be able to go in here and use this OEM scanner to do this height calibration procedure. Alright, here we go. So, Diagnostics, 2010, light duty truck, Chevy truck, it's a Vin K Suburban, we'll go to chassis, does not have trailer brake, it's under 8600 pounds, it does not have Z95 RPO, and here we have EBCM or electronic suspension control. In electronic suspension control, let's read the trouble codes, see if it talks. Okay, it's present. View all DTCs. This C0558, it says unknown DTC because I don't know why the other scanners reported it. You can clear it all day long. Store multiple DCs maybe belong to various. You see information? Yes. Okay, so exit out of there, exit out of there. Read the trouble codes again. There it is, C0558. Okay, so let's exit. And in special functions, we should have this ALC trim set. This is what the other scanners did not have. I tried the Think Tool, I tried the Autel, I tried the Snap-on Varus. None of them had this ALC trim set feature or bidirectional, you know, command. It had the other, you know, six or seven. Damper actuators, reset diagnostic counter, exhaust valve compressor test. We want ALC trim set. Let's see. Remove all the excess weight from the vehicle. Yep, it's empty. Place the vehicle on a flat surface. It's in my garage. See the service manual. Press enter to continue. Test in progress. So I think it released all the pressure from the rear shocks. Now we'll see what it does. Okay, it says recalibration is completed. Is that it? So now, let's go back. V2. 
view all DTCs. So now it says this test has passed. So clear DTCs? Yes. Okay, start up the pump. View all DTCs, no diagnostic trouble codes. Now the truck is ready to return to the customer. So this ALC trim set is the only way you're going to get rid of that trouble code. Even though we didn't, didn't have any warnings on the dash, it still needed to be done. So unfortunately the customer is going to have to pay a little extra for this procedure in addition to the factory programming, but there's no way around it. So we're done. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully that helps someone. If you know, you're DIY, you can do all this stuff with a laptop and a pass-through which is pretty powerful you just have to pay the subscription fees just like you know anyone else does but thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye